Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8 Eric. Welcome back to the channel. So Xbox went on a roll today talking about video game preservation and backwards compatibility and that hoopla, that whole conversation out there. And they threw shade at Nintendo and Sony in the process. Let's go ahead and read this article. Let's get right to it. So Xbox throws shade at PlayStation and Nintendo over video game preservation. So the debate over video game preservation has reached fever point recently. Sony has announced it's closing the PS3, PS Vita, and PSP online stores. Nintendo killed Mario yesterday, or to be specific, removed Super Mario 3D All-Stars from sale. So this is, this is the big dilemma here, is that recently we've gotten a lot of this... Um, closure and removing digital only games digital stores and it's been a topic of a conversation for quite some time especially on the channel during my live streams i'll get asked do i support digital or do i get games digitally i do a mixture of both if i'm going to be completely utterly honest but i do get concerns sometimes when we see stuff like sony closing the vita the psp and the ps3 stores because there's games that are going to be lost essentially forever if they were digital only if you don't have them already unless sony's planning to do some kind of weird like re-release of all of them on the playstation network later on for the ps5 who knows but again it could be lost forever there's no physical media of it there's a few of them i think there's like about 200 games that are going to be bye bye forever and then on top of that nintendo just pulled super mario 35 off of the eShop. And if you didn't get the physical for 3D All-Stars and <laughs> you don't have it, tough, tough, uh, tough titty said the kitty, right? So that's the debate on this. Well, Xbox is kind of moving on, uh, you know, forward with this, uh, with this conversation. So going with, with the topic and let's continue with this news article. This says it's led to growing concerns that digital purchases could be lost forever or restricted in some way if a company decides to terminate its online platform or services. With digital purchases growing significantly in recent years, which has led to digital only consoles like the PS5 Digital Edition or the Series S, the possibility of not being able to play or purchase certain titles in the future has become an increasing concern among the gaming community. And it is. It's rightfully so an increasing concern. Now, Microsoft, on the other hand, is doing its best to keep its older library of games alive and is also making them more accessible than ever. It recently announced that 16 backwards compatible games from the 360 and original Xbox are coming to Xbox Cloud Gaming Beta, which means you can now play these games on your Android device if you have a Game Pass Ultimate subscription. So to continue on, they reiterated their commitment to video game preservation in a post on Twitter. They replied to a user where they said, as time goes on, it becomes more important than ever that we ensure gaming icons and classics are preserved for new and old players alike. We hope that Nintendo and Sony take note. So yeah, they did throw a little bit of that shade right there. Now, Rare studio head Craig Duncan shared his opinion on Xbox Wire about why backwards compatibility is so important, stating that being able to relive games you played previously and fondly remember is important. So yeah, and I completely agree with that. Backwards compatibility, in my opinion, is a must have i know some people are like why do you need it that much why do you i just i like it i think it's great being able to pop in your older games and play them i, I do hope xbox does open up the compatibility list for their original og xbox and 360 games i would love it if we had more games available to play through that i'm still kind of let down that sony didn't do that with the ps5 i mean they do have the ps4 games but you know it would have been cool if you could have did some ps3 and ps2 titles and ps1 uh you know maybe a small selection now there is some on playstation now that you can play from the ps3 and ps2 but it's just not the same as being able to pop in your disc and stuff um so i would i would prefer playstation followed the suit that xbox is doing with its backwards compatibility but for whatever reason they didn't um i think xbox has been doing a good job with that uh, video game preservation is kind of a touchy subject, uh, you know, previously, you know, our, our games 
let's say, you know, for example, the 64 and the GameCube, you couldn't exactly play Nintendo 64 games on the GameCube. You know, it wasn't really a big deal back then. But now as gamers and uh, consoles are becoming more powerful, the idea of having decent backwards compatibility is something that I think should be a feature i think they did it great with the wii i think you know certain models of the ps2 and the ps3 and you know that allowed you to play original the the, the predecessor before it you know the games the actual original games i would prefer that um you know it's scary when we start to see situations like stores closing down or limited digital release titles like mario 35 coming out it's unfortunately becoming a bit of the norm which the only norm I want to care about is the gaming historian. So it's touchy. Uh, but yeah, it, Xbox made the call out today. And Xbox has been basically giving the people what they want. You know, the Xbox fan base having the accessibility to access their their games on their consoles or through the xCloud or Game Pass. So good on them. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good day.